Hey everybody, welcome back to Art of La Carte. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw a really cute hamster. And to start this off, we're going to use a shape that I use all the time, whether I'm drawing cartoons or regular drawings, and it is the dough ball shape. So cute. To start off drawing the dough ball shape, you need to start off with a circle shape. Now before you comment in the comment section, I don't know how to draw a circle, I do have a video on how to draw circles, and I'll leave that linked in the description box below. But once you have your circle drawn, you're going to just quick, cut off a little bit of the bottom. That gives it a bit of weight. Then you can round up the sides and mold your dough ball to be taller or shorter, but the main part is to have that little bit of weight at the bottom. And there we go, a dough ball. So cute! Drawing the dough ball shape is going to be the hardest thing in this entire drawing, so once you have it drawn out there, let's add some details and turn this blob of dough into a cute hamster. First thing I'm going to do is add in the ears, which are little half circles connected to the sides of the dough ball. Now again, you can add any kind of personalization you want, so if you want more pointed rounded ears or triangle ears or square ears, go ahead and do that. Again, this is going to be a super cartoony hamster, so I'm going to use two round eyes. After that, I'm going to add in the nose and the mouth. For the nose, it's just a slight little circle, or sometimes I draw a kind of a flattened heart shape, which is kind of cute. And the mouth, I'm going to use a flattened W shape, or an upside down flattened M shape, but really a flattened W shape is a little bit more easy. And there's our basic hamster face. Now comes in the extra little details of drawing in the little paws. For these, I'm going to use just little loop shapes, and as you'll see later in the video, you can customize these to be in any position that you want, whether you want your hamster to hold something, or have his ends up in the air, or anything like that, you can move them around. For the bottom paws, I'm going to use just two little ovals, and now I just put in some extra little details, like shines in the eyes and a little bit more attention to the ears. I want to add color to my hamster, so I'm going to initially block in the pattern shape. You can skip this part if you're confident in your coloring, but I do recommend in this initial sketch up part, if you are planning on inking this in and adding color, that you draw very lightly. I get asked all the time, what tools do I use to draw and ink and color? So I'm going to put a list in the description of this video of all the tools I use, minus the paper. It's just an off-toned craft paper that I had in my scrapbooking box that I pulled out. But you could use any kind of paper, though if you want my recommendation for a good sketch paper. I myself love cardstock. It's thick and durable, but also not super expensive. For the sketch pencil, I'm using a cool erase in blue. These are color pencils that you can erase, but you could use just a regular graphite or drawing pencil, as long as it's erasable. To ink in this drawing, I'm using my Copic Multiliner, but I also love the Sakura Multiliners. They're amazing. I think this one is a .03, which is my favorite size. Not too thin, not too thick really nice. But just a tip for your multiliners, make sure you get those lids snapped on all the way, otherwise they might dry out on you. And these pens are a couple of dollars a piece, so you definitely want to keep the ink as fresh as possible. I have loads of different erasers that I use, depending on how I feel and my paper, and this one is called a click eraser, which just clicks out like a little pin, and you can erase with it. And again, I will leave a link to these specific tools in the description of this video. For coloring, you can use whatever you want. Color pencils, markers, crayons, paints, if you're using the right kind of paper. I'm going to be using my markers. There are a load of color combinations that you can use to color your cute little hamsters, whether you decide to go more traditionally with your browns and grays, yellows, things like that, or if you want to go more fanciful and use your greens and pinks and purples and stripes and polka dots and rainbows and all that, just have fun with them. These are great little cartoon characters to give as gifts or encouragements. I mean, I mean, who's not going to smile if they receive one of these cute little hamster drawings on something? I know I would love it. In fact, I love seeing these cute little guys so much that if you decide to draw some of these, make sure to share your pictures with me. I'll leave all the information to my social media. You can tag me on Instagram, post it on my Facebook, or even email it to me, or even my snail mail. I'll leave all the information for that below. Now the question of the day, what type of animal do you think is the cutest in cartoon form? Let me know in the comment section below. 
If you enjoyed this video and like to see other super cute drawings, I have a whole playlist with all my super cute drawings in it. You can definitely check that out. If you're brand new to my channel, hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any future videos. Well, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. And until next time, God bless you guys. Keep drawing and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.